Welcome. In this video, we will see how to play a video file using OpenCV and then we will see how to write a new video file using OpenCV in Python. But first of all, you need to understand that what is a video file? Well, a video is nothing but a number of frames appearing one after another or in other words, I can say that a video is a sequence of fast moving images. So to play the video, I will access it using my program and then I will display its frame one by one on my screen. So let's write a code for this. First of all, I will import the OpenCV library. Now I need a video file to play. So for that, I have this video file and I'm going to play it using my program. So let's come back to the program and here I will load the video file and for that I will create an object of video capture class. And this will take one argument which is the path to the video file but because my video file exists in the same directory in which my python file exists so I will just provide the name of the video file. And now as I told you that I will access its frame one by one and then I will display it. So for that I will use a while loop and inside this while loop I will write success comma frame equals to cap dot read. And this will provide me with two values. The first one is the boolean value which will be stored in success. It can be true, it can be false. In case if it is true, it means that we get the frame from my video, otherwise we do not get the frame. And the second variable will contain the frame. So I need to check whether I get the frame or not. So for that I will use an if statement and I will write if frame is none and if the condition is true, it means we do not get the frame, then I will simply break the loop. Otherwise, if I get the frame, then I can display it on my screen. So for that, I will use I'm show function from OpenCV. And this will take two argument. The first one is the name of the window. You can give any name you want. And, and the second argument is the frame which you want to display it. And after this, I will give some waiting time. So for this, I will use the wait key function from OpenCV and let's give the waiting time of 30 milliseconds. After this, I will come out of while loop and then I will release the capture object by writing cap.release. After this, I will write cv2.destroy all windows and this will destroy the window. Now let's run the code. This is how we can play a video file using our program. Now the next thing we are going to learn is how to write a video file. So for this what I will do is I will use the same video file and I will write it with another name. For this I will create an object of video writer class. And this will take four arguments. The first one is the name of the output video. You can give any name you want along with the extension. And the second argument is a four character code which will refer to the required video codec. Now if you do not know what is the video codec then let me tell you that it is actually a software which is used to compress and decompress our digital video. You do not need to go in too much detail. What you need to know is that we need the four character code to refer to the required video codec. So the question is how we will get this? Well to get this, I will write here for cc equals to and then I will write cv2 video writer underscore for cc and inside it I will write mp4v. Now this will provide me the required four character code. One thing here you need to know is that if you are saving your file with some other extension, then this four character code will not work for you. You need a different one. Now the third argument is the FPS, which stands for frame per second. 
you can give any number here but because i do not want to change the frame size of my new video so i will find the frame per second for my actual video and for that here i will write fps equals to cap dot get and inside it i will write cv2 dot cap underscore prop underscore fps and then i need to convert this into integer so i will use int function fourth argument required here is frame size which is width and height again i do not want to change the frame size of my new video so i will find the frame size of my actual video to find them i will write width equals to cap dot get and then i will provide the prop id for width which is 3 in the similar way i will find the height so i will write height equals to cap dot get and 4 is the prop id for height and yes i need to convert them into integer so now we have all the four required parameters the next thing i will do is that i will go back to the while loop and here i will add the frames to my new video for that i will write writer dot write and as an argument i will provide the frame that's all we have to do now i will run the code then i will wait till the video ends Now in the current directory, I get a new video file with the name output.mp4 and if I play, it is the same video file which I have written and this is the same video file which I have written. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.